Gary Kirsten is one South African who must be celebrated. He's a patriot indeed. And for everything that he has done for our nation, for nurturing our team to be number one and to be competing for honors in the T20 and going forward and for giving young stars, African black players, a chance to prove themselves. For that, I take my hat off for him. And for never uh, relenting on patriotism and uh, being a South African, for doing all the good things. And we are here to say to him that... uh, in memory of what you did, we shall never forget. And uh, in retirement, we'll continue to work with you to uplift these young stars in terms of development and ensure that they become even better South Africans. He deserve to be celebrated. Lusapo, April, you have just won a marathon in Germany. Very important for excellence, very important for a winning nation. These young stars must be encouraged to do well. They must know when they do well, we support them, we love them, we are right behind them, they do it for the country. And if you listen to his story, he's got no support, uh, but he has gone there. He has not uh, been uh, shouting on top of his voice, crying uh, for support. He has done things, we have recognized him, and we'll work with him to become even a better person going into the future. You've got a long way ahead, and uh, we celebrate champions and excellence. We don't celebrate mediocrity and it deserve our support and recognition at this present moment. It does help because the kids here, most of them, they play but they don't have equipment. Neither do they have anything to support what they do. And uh, in our own projections, we think we can do better if we even get the budgets uh, for building facilities in different uh, communities because that should actually reside with us. At the present moment, we we depend on local government, municipal infrastructure grant, 15%. And uh, most of the time that money is diverted to other things. And you have heard for yourself. What do communities say? We want more facilities. Here are the kids. Here are young people. Not only in the schools, in the different areas they want to play. And in this particular instance, not only for mirror activities, but uh, also to support uh, talent development in the local areas. We think that uh, this sports equipment goes a long way. And uh, not only here, even in the far-flung areas, and uh, this highlight part of the outreach program of giving sport equipment where it is most mostly needed uh, in the different schools in South Africa. And this is some of the things that we'll highlight in terms of our budget vote and we're looking forward to it. And uh, But at the same time, to put more emphasis on the evolution and the implement, implementation of our own national sports and recreation plan. Because that plan will make us to be alongside Australia and UK. At the present moment, we judge ourselves uh, of uh, uh, international standards and the first world. And yet we're a developing nation. If you look at the budget of Australia, what it invests, China, on developing its own athlete. It's not corporate. It is the budget coming from the fiscals. And uh, if we implement the sports plan according to plan and uh, reach out all our objectives by 2013, South Africa will never be the same again. We got 12 medals in the past Olympics. I think in Rio de Janeiro we can double up that. And uh, I'm looking forward, among others, to ensure that we've got a special budget focusing on preparing athletes for the Olympics going to Rio de Janeiro. In that way, I believe we can do well as a country. But I do have uh, quite a few things on my plate in terms of what I want to do. I'm still, I'm still a cricket coach and I'd love to be involved in coaching in one way or another and involved in cricket. I mean, it's something that I've grown up doing. So I'm excited, hopefully, by where that goes. We, I think we all have to make decisions at, at some point whether how we balance our career and we balance family. And I just felt I was spending too much time away from home and it was a big, big demand on my family. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to grow up, uh, my kids grow up, sorry, one day thinking they never saw their dad. I mean, that, that's important to me. At the same time, I've got a career you know and um, I'd like to try and be as impactful and as significant as possible as a as a sports leader and a cricket leader in this country I think there's a lot to I think I have a lot to offer and I think there's a lot to do so I'm very excited about being involved in a whole lot of those different initiatives but at the same time still be involved in coaching in one way or another. Uh, not yet. I've kept pretty pretty low key at the moment, but um, you know, as I said, I'm going to be involved in coaching in one way or another around the world. Um, but it, but it's got to sort of it's got to be more palatable for me. In other words, I've got to be able to spend more time in Cape Town, which is you know which is my home. So if it works out, then then, then I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited by what he can do. He's been my assistant coach for two years. I worked with him as a coach for um, before that as well when he was with the Warriors. Um, I think he's going to do a good job. I think he's got a great passion for the game. He understands the game really well. We've worked fantastically well together and I really want to hope, I 
want to help him be as much of a success as he can be in his, in his stint. I think we'll have a fair amount to talk about. I think the important thing for us and, is that we maintain a very solid environment that the Proteas have had, you know. It's a world champion team now and we've got some great players. Um, we've got uh, some good skill in our team and we've got a great base of senior players that are, that are really holding the team together. So it's going to be important for us that we maintain that. I've been excited by development in this country. I think we've uh, made some good progress. We know there's a lot of work to do. And I'm trying to get a better understanding of that because I've sort of been on the road for quite a long time and the, be the better I understand it, I would like to make an impact or be significant in that space. But there's no doubt we need to explore our talent in every corner of this country. And, um, um, you know, I think we need to get more specific about it and, and really understand the, the areas where we are producing cricketers in our black communities in this country and really put a concerted effort into those areas. So I would love to be involved and certainly to help out in whatever capacity I can. It means a lot, you know, like finally being honored and being recognized after a very long time, you know. It might, it, it, you get motivated once you get such a recognition to even go for bigger heights. Uh, yeah, we don't really get like such uh, opportunities being uh, honored, you know, so it's a great honor and privilege for me. That's correct, yeah, like ASA have contacted me about the, the Moscow thing, but you know, like, uh, they haven't said anything about taking me or participating in the World Champs, so like, but okay, I'm just training as if like uh, I'm preparing a race, And but the most important thing now is ASA have in July in, in Nels Parade. Yeah, of course, you know, it's always an honor and privilege to represent your country, and I'm always willing to represent my country when they call my name, so I'm just waiting to hear what they're saying, and then we'll take it from there.